Hey guys, JJ here with Well-Rounded Living, and today we are going to be talking about what I believe to be the key to happiness, and that is laughter. Now if you think about it, all of the best times in your life have most likely involved laughter in some way, shape, or form. Likewise, if you've ever thought about a time where you weren't that happy, and somebody was trying to make you laugh, let's say you were sad or upset or angry, and somebody was doing their hardest to make you laugh, the instant you started laughing, your bad mood probably went away. So obviously laughter is helpful, it makes us feel good, but what kinds of things can we do to make sure we laugh more often and therefore are happier in our lives in general? Well, there's lots of different things you can do. The first, and I th what I think is most important, is to not take yourself too seriously. How often have you gotten into a disagreement with someone else where either they were making fun of you, they cracked a joke at your expense, or maybe you did something embarrassing and you were called out for it, or you slipped and fell, something like that, and everybody else was laughing and you were all red-faced. If you don't take yourself too seriously and you look at anything you do, basically take it with a grain of salt, that's kind of the, the way the saying goes, then when other people are laughing, you could potentially laugh along with them. And take those funny moments, the moments where a joke was had at your expense, and appreciate them for what they are. Somebody just trying to get a laugh out of someone else, and that someone else could now be you if you don't take things too seriously. Now the flip side of that, of course, is you take everything way too seriously and everybody is all uh, tiptoeing around you trying to make sure that they don't set you off, and you don't want to be one of those people. Now with that said, think about people in your life who have this type of mindset, who don't take themselves too seriously. What are they like as individuals? Do they laugh a lot? Do they have a bubbly personality? Do you want to be around them? Do others want to be around them? Well, that's a side effect of happiness and laughter. If you can joke a lot and you can make other people laugh and you laugh yourself quite often, others are going to be attracted to you. They're going to want to be around you. They're going to really enjoy your company. So it's just another benefit of how laughter can increase your happiness and can increase your well-being. Let's think about times where you've been sad, angry, upset, any emotion other than happy and laughing. Those times you typically are dwelling on something that occurred that you didn't want to have happen. Now there are certain things in life that obviously are serious enough that they're probably going to last for quite a while, but barring those, the small moments, the moments where you were upset at somebody, mad at somebody because they did something, or somebody was late picking you up, or, or uh, late to a gathering, or somebody didn't bring you home the right food or something, you know, little things that are fairly mundane. If you think back on them now, do they matter? How much time and energy did you spend dwelling on that one negative? But in the long run, it really didn't matter. So by, instead of focusing on the negative, focus on the positive, it gives yourself the ability to laugh, the ability to take each of these moments with a grain of salt, the ability to move on, look at the positive, continue laughing, continue being happy, and then live a better life because of it. Once you have begun not taking yourself too seriously, and you may already do that right now, the next task is going to be finding things that encourage laughter. Now that may be surrounding yourself with people who uh, constantly crack jokes or who have that bubbly personality where they're always laughing and, and that laughter is contagious and makes you want to laugh as well. Or it could mean cracking jokes yourself and making a conscious effort to be that person that is uh, beginning the laughter and letting it infect all of those around you and letting everyone have a good time. It could mean going to see funny movies, watching funny TV shows. It could even mean something like looking up, let's say, the equivalent of a calendar that has one little funny joke per day on it, where in the morning you could get up, you could look at it, have a little laugh, and that will set the tone for the rest of your day. There are plenty of websites out there dedicated to laughter or one-liner jokes. I even have a, a little flip book thing that was 
uh, beer-related jokes, and it was from my bachelor pad days. But each each page in it had a little one-liner that was just really funny, and I would look at those every so often and just kind of crack a smile. I wouldn't even have to be laughing out loud. One of the pages I remember in particular was a quote from Homer Simpson, and it said, "Beer." the cause and solution to all of life's problems. And you know, it just puts a smile on your face to hear something like that because it's a little ironic and yet kind of true at the same time. So I encourage you to go out, look for funny things online, look for funny things near you, funny movies, anything that can make you laugh. Try it for a week or two, just really, really trying hard to uh, Laugh at the simple things. Appreciate things that could make you happy rather than dwelling on the negative. And let me know how that works for you. Put a comment in the box below and let me know if your overall outlook on life improved during that time. With that said, I have a special treat to leave you with. Enjoy. Afterwards, please check out our website at wellroundedliving.com. Follow us on Facebook or subscribe right here on YouTube. See you soon, guys.